What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add a face cam to your gameplay videos. Now face cams are basically where you add your face to the top left or top right corner of your gameplay video. Now they are totally awesome. I love face cams and I really think you guys should really add them to your videos because you know they give your viewers a live reaction of your face and they are really cool. You guys have some funny moments and they have a bit, add a bit of personal touch to your videos. Unless you don't like adding your face, which is totally fine, but this is I really recommend adding face cam to your videos because they are really really awesome so the way i am showing you guys does require a little bit of editing a little bit of effort and a lot of programs and to do them all the time just have a little bit of effort but once you get used to doing it you guys should be totally fine so things you would need is a pretty hefty um, video editing software now video editing softwares like Vegas pro and premiere pro by adobe aren't really essential but basically you would need an editing software that does allow multiple video tracks that can be stacked on on top of each other basically you need a video editing software a video editing software that allows picture in picture where you can add you know where you can add multiple videos and talk to each other and resize them and stuff like that. For this video, I will be using Sony Vegas Pro 13. But don't worry, there are a bunch of video X softwares that do, that do allow, you know, being able to add videos on top of each other and, you, you know, adding a video on the top left corner of your screen. You need a video and adding software that does that, but there are a lot of free ones that do allow that. Um, you just need to search them real hard. I might, um, there's this one that was called Video Star that I used way back then. It's free and I think it's fine. Um, there are a lot of free ones out there. You just have to keep looking for them. So you need video in your software. You need, of course, your game capture software, which is, of course, whether it be Fraps, the Xtori, Bandicam, or whatever you guys use normally. You guys probably already have this, so you guys don't really need to download one or buy one. The last thing you need is a webcam recorder. So, um, the webcam that you bought, um, probably already came with a free webcam recorder. So, this is the one that mine is an, uh, HP webcam. I bought that at Walmart, and it did come with, uh, a free software. So, with this one, you can take your videos, um, or, or photos, um, already. So, that's what, that's what usually I would use. There it is. There's my face right there. So, um, yeah, but another cool, but, uh, if you guys are, you guys probably already have Windows Movie Maker, and you can actually record your webcam using this software. It's free, it's pretty easy, and it's pretty good quality, too. It's not the best, but it's, depends on your webcam. So, this is Windows Movie Maker. If you go click on webcam video, there's my face right there. Um, the frame rate's actually pretty good. Um, it's not jumpy or anything. It, it worked fine for me for the past how many years. But even though this method is not the way... I make my videos, but my software, Merlis Action, automatically adds face cam, which is totally awesome. So I don't need to do, go through all this hassle. But anyways, what you need is, of course, your webcam recorder, your gameplay recorder, which is, you know, could be DX Tori Fraps right here. And of course, you would need your game, which is, I'm going to use Minecraft as an example. And at the end, when you have everything recorded, you'd need a pretty um, complex video editing software. I have Vegas Pro right there in the top right corner of my screen. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So what you need to do is you need a lot of things open. You need your game open, of course. You need your webcam recorder open, which is, in my case, uh, Windows Movie Maker. And you need your, your game capture software open. Now, what you need to do is record your webcam and record your gameplay at the same time. So I'm not gonna actually record it because it's gonna really screw up my computer, but just press your record button and then you'll start playing your game. All right, so start playing. What you need to do is to have it synced up, you need to do a one, two, three, before you can don't worry you're gonna edit, edit this out in the editing software so the reason you do the one two three clap is to you know so you can have both your audio synced and of course you can have your your webcam synced with your game because you're not gonna click record at the same time unless you literally have two two mice but that's impossible so of course you're gonna yeah you know, start your record your webcam recording and then after that start your gameplay recording and then do one two three clap and then that clap lets it add a, a audio spike in the video editing software. So then you can you can sync up that spike in the video editing software. I will show you guys in the video editing software what I mean. Record your video, record your webcam first, then record your game at the same time. It does um, it might lower your FPS by a bit, so that's the bad thing about this. So start playing your game. You're like, hey guys, uh, welcome back to a video. Blah blah blah. You guys can see the webcam, and then st and when you're done, you press end on this game so you you stop recording this and then you stop recording your webcam name it whatever you want um i already have an example footage so i don't need to do that you should have two files after that you need your of course your game file one two three 
There you go. That's what I mean. You need to have a one, two, three clap in your video because you can, so you can sync up your thing. As you can see, this is the exact same right there. I do the exact same thing because I did this live at the same time. There it is. There's the clap right there. So now once you have those two things, you need to open up your editing software. So now once you're in your video editing software, again, this is Sony Vegas Pro, add your file in. First, add your gameplay file. So now once you have that in, this is, of course, your gameplay right there. Now you need to add your webcam in too. Make sure you add it on a thing on a track above. So there you go. Now you have your webcam i uh, just in the preview right there you have your webcam uh, taking up the whole screen but don't worry we will fix that so you have your webcam on top and your video on the bottom so make sure that the webcam is on top of course now as you can see the, the audios are not synced at all, all right, guys, example so video, hello uh, just a bunch of messed up crap that you're listening to so of course it's going to be hard to sync it up perfectly and it's going to take you hours but since you did that one two three clap thing it lets you able to sync it really easily because you have that one little spike right there now that's what i meant that is why it is essential to do that one two three clap so you can easily just sync it up right there zoom in all the way and sync it up so now royal video this is just the oh, example the voice sounds really robotic and that's a good thing it means that the two audios are synced up webcam and a game so check if the the start of the video is synced oh, up hello. Um, and then start and to check if the very end of the video is synced up because the start of the video could seem fine but then once you go to the end it's it's not fine it's not synced up because a little error here would mean a drastic error over here let me show you what i mean little All right, guys, so hello um right there does happen you need to check if both ends are synced up let me just do that again again that spike is really perfect because that's a there it is and so be so now that the audios are synced you can disable one audio i'm going to disable the webcam audio because i like the game capture software better now as you can the see webcam the webcam part. is big now the audios are synced up now but you need to um change the size of the webcam so the way to change it in sony vegas is to use the pan crop and change it to uh, 16 by 9, all right, because that's the size of the video. And just put it wherever you want. I'm just going to put it in the top right corner of my video right there. Make it a little bit smaller. And I think that's a pretty good size. So there you go. Now you have your webcam right there. So you guys, it's perfect. So now um, clip it, trim it down. Uh, now move it, and there you go. You have your webcam ready. As you can see, his voice, or my voice, my mouth is moving in sync with the audio. In the editing software, I'm talking, I'm talking. You guys can see that. Of course, if you don't have Sony Vegas, it will be different for you. But basically, the thing you're doing is the same. That's pretty much it. You're done. You can add your editing. You can add your fade in. Oh, make sure to um, trim out the part where you clapped and start to where you actually start your video. All right, guys. So, hello. Um, there it is. There it is right there. So, um, that's pretty cool. That's basically it on how to add a webcam to your video. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, this tutorial wasn't confusing. Hopefully, I explained it enough. If you guys had some trouble explaining, understanding me, I know I really don't talk well. I'm sorry about that. Just rewatch the video again. Pause it at certain moments. And, guys, I'm always reading the comments. I don't have time to reply to all of them. But, um, the community out here is awesome. They will try to help you if you guys have any questions so thank you guys so much for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed again if you guys have any questions or concerns or need help just ask in the comments below either i or um, an, a loyal subscriber will try to help you out thank you guys so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out everybody